I might uh, have to get a mulligan because my start was pretty, pretty bad. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Team O'Neill. My name is Drew. Uh, today we're going to be taking some of my favorite goat modes for going hot on loose surface from the last video. Uh, we're going to be putting them up against the stopwatch to see which one is actually faster uh, on our little course that we've got set up on our skid pad. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we are. We're back in the Bronco. Uh, this time we're going to bring a little bit of science to the party. We're going to put a stopwatch on it. Uh, the two modes that I liked best last time was uh, normal mode and four-wheel drive high range. Uh, instead of four-wheel drive auto, I thought four-wheel drive high range is a little more predictable. And then we'll be in Baja mode, which is also in four-wheel drive high range, which Baja mode increases the throttle response uh, over normal mode. We'll see if that translates to a faster time out here. We're not really sure. There's only one way to find out. So uh, without further ado, we'll get hammered out. Three, two, one, go. You just want to manage wheel spin off the start. A little bit of rain going too, so it's going to be a little grimy. Trail brake, unwind, get back in the gas. Same thing here. You really want to think economy of motion, not use any more steering than you have to. Keep everything uh, nice and happy. I'm going to sacrifice a little speed over crest so I can get a little bit better braking done for this first corner. You want to grab that little bit of grip on the inside if you can, unwind the wheel, grab second. Yeah, that turbo lag is a bit of a killer coming out of those slower corners. You gotta work the transmission a bit to get the most out of it. Here, I might even grab second gear. That way I have it for this next tighter corner. Just kind of shifting when it's convenient. Unwind and then get back in it. All right, that's a run. Okay, not bad. That's a good baseline. Three. Okay, so now it's time to go to the elusive Baja mode. So let's see what we got. Go over to Baja, there we go. Okay, so we're in Baja mode now. Uh, in Baja mode, we get increased throttle response. Uh, we have the option of locking the rear diff or not. I'm gonna leave it unlocked, I think, for the purposes of letting the vehicle rotate a little bit easier. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. You know, a little bit more throttle response, it might kind of help combat uh, that turbo lag a little bit. We'll see how we do. Only one way to find out. Three, two, one, go. All right, so yeah, we can already kind of feel that throttle response. Unwind, get back in it. It's a little easier to kind of plant it coming out of corners because of that extra throttle response. You also have to be a little careful though that you don't spin the tires too much. So it's a bit of a double-edged sword. A little far on the inside there. Our second run in with Baja mode. Three, two, one, go. All right, just kind of managing wheel spin off the start because I have the extra throttle response. I'm going to be careful with my throttle control. I'm wanting to get back in it. There we go. Going 
the third. Remember sacrificing that speed over crest. So that way I can get a good turn. I'm going to send it a little less. So that way I'm not quite as much on the inside. Unwind the first. Yeah, first gear is the move out of there. First gear is the move. Braking. Perfect time to grab second. So yeah, that's the thing is that, you know, Baja mode, you have that extra throttle response, so it's a little bit easier to kind of grab more throttle, so it can also be a little bit easier to grab a little too much, maybe cause a little too much wheel spin. So it seems like normal mode's a little more consistent. Right on. Well, that was good fun. All right, it's always fun to put things to the stopwatch and see how things really shake down. Uh, what we found was that Baja mode seemed to be quicker. Uh, I think a lot of that was the increased throttle response made it a lot easier to combat turbo lag. Uh, that way when you went for the gas, you had less of a weight to get up to full power. Um, that makes it in some cases less predictable, like when it was raining, uh, it was a little easier to get wheel spin. Um, so it might not be as repeatable, but certainly with the conditions we had today, Baja mode seemed to be the faster way uh, to get through this little course. If you haven't seen our other Bronco content, check out Tim doing a Willet Rally, and also check out our previous video where we try all the different GOAT modes to see how they behave when we're going hot on gravel. That's it for me here at Team O'Neill. We'll see you guys next time.